Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today I'm gonna show you how to replace the adhesive on your Apple Watch screen and seal it up good as new. We're gonna start with prepping the screen for new adhesive by cleaning and removing the old adhesive. Grab your opening tool or a spudger and scrape around the edges. You can even enlist the help of tweezers to lift some of that silicone looking adhesive. Now that we have all the gunk out of the way, we wanna make sure it's nice and clean. So use an alcohol-soaked Q-tip to clean any residue off the back of the screen. Time for new adhesive. Use tweezers to peel the outer ring off of one of the adhesive strip pads. Make sure you get both the double-sided adhesive and the brown backing paper, but be sure you don't bend, fold, or stretch the adhesive tape as this will make it too thick to seal the screen. Now we can lay the adhesive in the watch. The guide will tell you to lay the backed adhesive tape down on the force touch sensor. I found it easier to lay the adhesive in the display. Either way will work. Place it around the edge where the screen rests. Start in the corner with the tape as close to the corner as possible. Now you can use your plastic opening tool to press around the brown backing paper to secure the adhesive around the entire perimeter. Adhesive is done. Now we can reassemble the watch. First, I'm going to reconnect the display data and digitizer cable connectors with the help of my opening tool. I'm gonna to be careful not to touch the contacts directly as the oils from my fingers can impede connectivity. Next is the metal bracket. Line up the single tab with the slot on the top of the lower half and slide the bracket down and then snap it in place. Battery goes in next. Line the battery connector up with its mate on the cable inside the watch. You can use tweezers to press the two connectors together, rotate the battery and press it into position. This is the best time to check and make sure everything is connected correctly and the watch turns on. It would be a shame to ruin all that new adhesive you just put on. Mine works, so I'm gonna move to securing the screen back on its body. First, I need to remove the paper backing strip. Finally, it's time to marry the two pieces. Move the screen back to the right, folding the display data and digitizer cables neatly. Center the screen over the case and press firmly down into the adhesive. And that's all there is to it. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow iFixit at iFixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. And give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.